Hi, I'm Steve Green. All your life people have said, don't sweat the small stuff. That's usually good advice. But in ultralight backpacking, it's a great idea to sweat the small stuff. You can trim the most weight from the larger items you carry, but don't stop there. It all adds up. Ruthlessly trim the small items and you'll carry significantly less weight. Have you ever grabbed some gear just as you were leaving for a hike? Maybe you packed a flashlight or extra shirt that weighed six ounces. That seems pretty light. It shouldn't make much of a difference. Not by itself, anyway. But every single item adds up. In my pack, I carry a sandwich-sized Ziploc bag that weighs less than six ounces and holds 27 items. That's 27 pieces of gear that weigh the same as an extra shirt. See where you can trim weight and enjoy a lighter pack. The bag holds all these items. A compass that's an insert from a keychain compass. A tiny aluminum whistle. A plastic mirror that's trimmed and kept in a Ziploc. A comb that's cut in half. Book matches. Wind and waterproof matches in a Ziploc. Biodegradable soap in a quarter ounce container. Sunscreen in a quarter ounce container. A small pen. A few sheets of paper in a Ziploc bag. A few rubber bands for repairs and odd jobs. A toothbrush that's been shortened and drilled. Tooth powder. It's lighter than toothpaste. Dental floss in a Ziploc bag. It's good for repairs, too. Lip balm with SPF. It's lighter than the usual brands. Benadryl cream to relieve bug bites. Ibuprofen pain reliever. Aspirin. Lopuramide for diarrhea. A few one-inch brass safety pins for equipment repairs and treating blisters. Potable aqua tabs in an amber one dram bottle which is much lighter than the original bottle. 25 feet of nylon cord for repairs and general use. A small Gerber knife. Two Princeton Pulsar II lights. Extra batteries for both lights. Tiny scriptures. There it is. 27 items of gear that weigh less than 6 ounces. You can trim the weight of other small pieces of gear too. For garbage, the large resealable bags found in supermarkets work great and they weigh only four tenths of an ounce. Take only the part of your map that you need, but don't trim the legends or emergency escape routes. A super light emergency blanket can give you protection for only 1.8 ounces. Some car keys can be hollowed out. I drilled almost half the weight out of mine. I attached some bright mylar from balloons so the keys can be spotted easily if they're dropped. Leave your wallet and most of the contents home. It's dead weight. Don't skimp too much on toilet paper and do place it in a Ziploc bag. Your first aid kit can be quite complete and very light. Start with a mini kit and throw away the plastic pouch it comes in and use a Ziploc bag instead. With the weight savings from tossing the original plastic container, you can add more of your favorite items such as butterfly bandages, antibiotic ointment, and moleskin. Experiment with light pillows. Your clothing in a stuff sack might be enough. Part of your pack can work. I use a small piece of foam that weighs 7 tenths of an ounce and add clothing underneath for more loft. Use small Ziploc bags for your medications if you don't need airtight containers. There are backpackers who consider deodorant a must. Arid makes a cream that can be placed in a small, plastic container. Look for light, polarized sunglasses that weigh less than an ounce. For reading glasses, look for the very narrow kind. They're about half the weight of your regular pair. If you take a camera, explore lightweight options. Go ahead and sweat the small stuff. You'll save weight and have more fun. See over 30 more videos and a free ultralight backpacking book at hikelight.com.